Renowned actress Shirley MacLaine made her film debut in The Trouble with Harry in 1955 and has remained active in the movie industry since then. Despite her success, the actress hasn't always seen eye to eye with her co-stars. In fact, there have been reported cases of tension between McLean and certain co-workers, with one going so far as to call her the most obnoxious actor I've ever worked with. Stay tuned to find out which of the actress's peers had such strong negative feelings towards her. In 1970, the Western film Two Mules for Sister Sara made its debut, bringing together director Don Siegel and actor Clint Eastwood. Originally, Elizabeth Taylor was tapped for the part of Sister Sarah, but she turned it down. Eventually, Shirley MacLaine took on the role, even though both Siegel and Eastwood had reservations about her complexion initially. The actress, known for her striking performances, proved them wrong with her portrayal of Sister Sarah, a prostitute disguised as a nun during the Mexican Revolution. Despite their doubts, MacLaine brought depth and complexity to the character, which resonated with audiences. Siegel and Eastwood's concerns were likely due to the traditional depictions of Western heroines. However, McLean challenged these norms with her nuanced performance, providing a fresh take on the genre. This classic film has since become one of the most memorable westerns in cinema history. McLean's ability to bring authenticity and humanity to her role set her apart from other actors. Her work in Two Mules for Sister solidified her status as a versatile actress who could hold her own against Hollywood heavyweights like Eastwood. Overall, Two Mules for Sister Sara remains a beloved entry in the western canon thanks in large part to Shirley MacLaine's unforgettable performance. In the late 1960s, when director Don Siegel and actor Clint Eastwood began planning their film Two Mules for Sister Sarah, they had reservations about casting Shirley MacLaine in the female lead role. Their apprehensions primarily revolved around the actress's complexion, which they believed might not fit the character they envisioned. Despite these initial doubts, McLean was eventually chosen for the part, marking the start of a challenging collaboration between the three figures. Siegel, known for his tough and uncompromising approach to filmmaking, found it difficult to work with McLean. He reportedly struggled to connect with the actress due to her non-traditional femininity and strong-willed personality. As a result, tensions arose during the production process, creating a strained atmosphere on set. Despite these challenges, McLean remained committed to bringing depth and authenticity to her portrayal of Sarah, a prostitute who disguises herself as a nun while helping Eastwood's character in the film. Her performance ultimately contributed significantly to the movie's success, demonstrating her talent and dedication despite the obstacles she faced. Throughout her career, Shirley McLean has consistently proven herself to be a formidable force in Hollywood overcoming various hurdles and solidifying her status as a respected figure in the industry. This particular instance highlights both her resilience and determination, even in the face of skepticism and resistance from influential figures like Siegel and Eastwood. Renowned actress Shirley MacLaine faced significant challenges while filming in the sweltering heat of Mexico. The unforgiving climate added to the existing tension between MacLaine and director Don Siegel. This challenging experience was further exacerbated by misleading rumors suggesting that Clint Eastwood was the actor with whom McLean had the most strained working relationship. The oppressive heat took its toll on both cast and crew, making an already demanding production even more arduous. As temperatures soared, patients were thin, and conflicts emerged, particularly between McLean and Siegel. Their simmering tensions became increasingly palpable throughout the shoot, overshadowed somewhat by earlier gossip implying that McLean clashed frequently with co-star Eastwood. However, these assumptions ultimately proved unfounded. Despite facing adversity through grueling conditions and professional friction, the resilient team persevered to complete their work. Although the atmosphere might have been fraught during the filming process, it didn't diminish the quality of this classic piece of cinema. Through determination and sheer talent, they triumphed over difficulty, delivering a memorable movie despite the hardships encountered along the way. In October 1988, actress Shirley MacLaine made an appearance on The Late Show with David Letterman to promote her latest film, Madame Susatska. As the conversation progressed, the discussion shifted toward MacLaine's unconventional beliefs, particularly her conviction in reincarnation. This unexpected turn caught Letterman off guard, resulting in a somewhat uncomfortable exchange between the two. During the interview, McLean elaborated on her thoughts regarding past lives, expressing her certainty that she had lived before. She recounted memories from previous existences and delved into how these experiences have influenced her current life 
and career. While some audience members may have been intrigued by her perspective, Letterman himself seemed puzzled and entertained by the actress's revelations. His reactions ranged from chuckles to outright laughter, visibly finding humor in McLean's unusual convictions. As the interview continued, it became evident that the gap in understanding between the two individuals was growing wider. Despite Letterman's lighthearted approach, McLean remained resolute in her beliefs, unaffected by his amusement. Consequently, the atmosphere grew increasingly tense, creating a sense of discomfort throughout the studio. Although neither party explicitly addressed the escalating tension, their contrasting viewpoints were palpable. The interview ultimately concluded without further incident, but its impact lingered. Viewers who tuned in expecting a lively discussion about Madame Susatska instead witnessed a fascinating glimpse into the actress's unique spiritual perspectives. Regardless of whether one agrees or disagrees with McLean's ideas, this memorable talk show appearance serves as a testament to her willingness to share her individuality with the world. In one episode of The Late Show, host Dave Letterman's persistent teasing about Shirley McLean's beliefs in reincarnation created a tense atmosphere during their interview. The actress, known for her work in films like Terms of Endearment and Steel Magnolias, tried to shift the focus towards her latest project. However, the topic of reincarnation continued to dominate the discussion, causing visible discomfort. As the show went to commercial break, Shirley MacLaine decided not to return, leaving behind a palpable sense of strain. This unexpected turn of events highlighted the challenges that can arise when discussing personal beliefs and convictions in a public setting, even for someone as experienced as Shirley MacLaine. Despite this unusual incident, the actress has left an indelible mark on the world of cinema, captivating audiences with her powerful performances and unique perspective. Her legacy continues to resonate, inspiring future generations of artists to step into the spotlight and share their own stories. In her storied career, the actress Shirley MacLaine has collaborated with many talented co-stars. However, one particular collaboration stands out for its tension, her work alongside actor Anthony Hopkins in the 1980 film A Change of Seasons. The two stars, known for their intense method acting styles, clashed repeatedly during production. Their animosity towards each other became public knowledge, leading to a challenging atmosphere on set. McLean later revealed that Hopkins was her least favorite co-star, citing his unprofessional behavior and lack of respect for their scenes together. She felt that he did not take their work seriously enough and failed to engage fully with their shared creative process. Hopkins, too, expressed displeasure with working with McLean. He found her approach to acting overly aggressive and confrontational, which made it difficult for him to connect with her emotionally on screen. Despite these challenges, both actors managed to deliver solid performances in a change of seasons, demonstrating their professionalism even amidst personal conflict. Nevertheless, the experience left a sour taste in McLean's mouth, making it clear that not all Hollywood partnerships are destined for success. In 1980, the actress Shirley MacLaine took on the role of Stephanie Dickinson in the drama A Change of Seasons. This film also featured Anthony Hopkins and explored the complexities of marital relationships and infidelity. Unfortunately, both critics and audiences received it poorly, leading to a disappointing outcome for all involved. The movie follows the story of a married couple named Karen and Adam Evans, portrayed by Bo Derek and Anthony Hopkins respectively. Their relationship takes center stage as they navigate through various personal issues, including extramarital affairs. McLean plays Stephanie Dickinson, one of the individuals entangled in these romantic complications. Despite featuring esteemed performers like McLean and Hopkins, a change of seasons failed to impress upon release. Critics panned its meandering narrative structure and lackluster character development, resulting in poor box office returns. Moreover, this failure did little to alleviate the already tense atmosphere between some cast members during production. As if reflective of its thematic material, even behind the scenes, relations were strained among several key players. According to reports, McLean and Hopkins shared a mutual dislike throughout filming. Whether due to creative differences or personality clashes remains unclear. However, their animosity might have been exacerbated by the negative reception surrounding the project. Adding insult to injury, a Change of Seasons earned three Golden Raspberry Award nominations, awards created specifically to highlight the worst films released each year. Although none of these nominations turned into wins, they still served as stark reminders of the film's shortcomings. To sum up, while A Change of Seasons boasted impressive talent with Shirley MacLaine and Anthony Hopkins at the helm, 
it fell flat when it came to critical acclaim and commercial success. Strained interpersonal dynamics further complicated matters, culminating in an underwhelming cinematic experience marked by disappointment. Renowned actor Anthony Hopkins has been known to speak his mind when it comes to working with other celebrities. One such instance involves the acclaimed actress Shirley MacLaine. In spite of their successful collaboration in the film, A Change of Seasons, Hopkins later expressed his frustration towards MacLaine by describing her as the most obnoxious actress he had ever worked with. However, he declined to offer further particulars regarding his statement. On the other hand, MacLaine herself acknowledged her negative feelings toward Hopkins during the making of the movie. She attributed these sentiments to Hopkins' struggle with alcoholism at the time. Despite the tension between them, both actors managed to maintain professionalism throughout the production process. This just goes to show that even in the entertainment industry, conflicts can arise, but ultimately, work must still get done. Shirley MacLaine and Anthony Hopkins were both known for having strong personalities, which became evident during the filming of A Change of Seasons. The actress, who was already an established star before working with Hopkins, likely had her own set ways of approaching roles in films. Meanwhile, Hopkins has openly discussed his struggles with anger, and how achieving sobriety helped him channel those emotions into his work. This contrast in approaches could have been what led to tensions between the two actors on set. Regardless, both actors delivered solid performances in the movie, demonstrating the transformative power of art and self-improvement. Renowned for her demanding nature, actress Shirley MacLaine has surprised many with her ability to build strong professional relationships with her co-stars. Two notable examples include her collaborations with actor John Forsyth and comedian Jack Black. During the filming of Postcards from the Edge, Shirley MacLaine worked closely with John Forsyth, who played her character's love interest. Despite initial concerns about the actress's reputation, Forsyth found their interactions smooth and enjoyable. He even praised MacLaine for creating an atmosphere of positivity and creativity on set. More recently, Shirley MacLaine starred alongside Jack Black in The Holiday. In contrast to his usual slapstick roles, Black was required to portray a more serious character opposite MacLaine. To prepare for the part, he observed her acting style and learned from it. As a result, the two developed a mutual respect and camaraderie during production. These instances demonstrate how Shirley MacLaine can balance her intensity with warmth and generosity towards fellow performers. Her collaborative efforts reveal a nuanced approach to building creative partnerships, which ultimately enriches both her work and that of those around her. Whether sharing scenes with seasoned veterans or up-and-coming talents, she remains dedicated to delivering exceptional performances while fostering supportive environments on set. In the making of the beloved film Terms of Endearment, two leading ladies, Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger, found themselves in a challenging relationship due to their contrasting styles and personalities. Their discord created tension on set, but also brought depth to their portrayal of a complicated mother-daughter duo. McLean, an established actress with years of experience, was known for her professionalism and polished demeanor. On the other hand, Winger, relatively newer to the industry, approached her craft with raw emotion and intensity. These differences led to frequent clashes between them during filming. Despite the friction off-camera, McLean and Winger managed to channel their energy into powerful performances. They delved deep into their roles, creating authentic moments filled with genuine affection and frustration, reflective of real-life relationships. As a result, viewers were treated to a poignant depiction of love and strife between a mother and daughter. The dynamics of their real-life rapport greatly influenced how they interacted on screen. Instead of shying away from conflict, they embraced it, giving life to multi-dimensional characters whose flaws made them all the more relatable. Audiences could feel the weight of each argument and cherish every reconciliation because these emotions felt true. While tensions sometimes ran high, both women recognized the value of working together towards a common goal. Ultimately, their dedication paid off when Terms of Endearment became a critical success and garnered multiple Academy Awards nominations. Even though McLean won Best Actress, she graciously acknowledged Winger's contribution to their collective triumph. To this day, Terms of Endearment remains a timeless classic, revered for its nuanced exploration of familial bonds. Much like the movie itself, the story behind its creation serves as a testament to the power of collaboration amidst diversity, proving that even seemingly insurmountable challenges can lead to unforgettable artistry. Renowned for her powerful acting style and charismatic screen presence, Shirley MacLaine has had a storied career in Hollywood. 
Yet, even amid success, tensions can arise, as was the case when she clashed with fellow actress Deborah Winger during the making of the 1983 film Terms of Endearment. At the heart of their conflict lay Winger's demanding behavior on set. She reportedly challenged director James L. Brooks constantly, questioning his decisions and pushing back against direction. This created friction between cast members, particularly between Winger and McLean, who shared many scenes together. One memorable incident involved hitting marks on set. Both actresses needed to stand at specific spots for certain shots, but disagreements over these positions led to a comical confrontation. In an attempt to prove her point, McLean physically demonstrated where Winger should stand, humorously swatting at her co-star with a prop envelope. While it diffused some tension, the underlying issues persisted throughout production. Despite the discord, however, both women delivered compelling performances. Their dynamic brought depth and authenticity to their characters, contributing significantly to the movie's critical acclaim and commercial success. Notably, McLean won the Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in the film. Thus, while conflicts behind the scenes often make headlines, they do not necessarily detract from the quality of the finished product. On the contrary, adversity can sometimes fuel creativity, leading to unforgettable cinematic moments. Decades have passed since the release of Terms of Endearment, but the feud between Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger remains a topic of interest. This famous rift between the two actresses was known for its intensity during the making of the movie, which went on to win several Academy Awards. Even today, it continues to intrigue fans and industry experts alike. The source of their disagreement can be traced back to creative differences and clashing personalities. Both women were strong-willed individuals who brought their unique perspectives to the set. While they had their fair share of conflicts, there were also moments of mutual respect and admiration. Deborah Winger herself has spoken out about the feud over the years, addressing rumors and clarifying her relationship with Shirley MacLaine. In interviews, she has emphasized that beneath their tumultuous dynamic lay a deep appreciation for each other's talent and dedication to their craft. Despite the challenges they faced while working together, Winger insists that there was always a profound connection between them. As time goes by, the fascination surrounding this legendary Hollywood feud refuses to wane. Many still speculate about what exactly transpired between these two talented actresses, fueling endless debates among cinephiles worldwide. Nevertheless, one thing remains clear. Even amidst conflict, both Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger left an indelible mark on cinema history through their unforgettable performances in terms of endearment. Shirley MacLaine's career has been filled with memorable performances and high-profile projects, but it has also been marked by her fair share of conflicts with co-stars. These disputes have raised questions about whether such feuds could harm an actor's career or if they simply bring more attention to the project. McLean herself has spoken openly about some of these disagreements, including her infamous falling out with Deborah Winger during the making of Terms of Endearment. Despite their differences, both actresses received critical acclaim for their work in the film, with McLean even winning an Academy Award for Best Actress. However, not all of the actresses' feuds had such positive outcomes. During the filming of The Children's Hour, McLean reportedly clashed with Audrey Hepburn over creative differences. While the film was still a commercial success, the tension between the two stars may have detracted from its overall impact. Similarly, McLean's contentious relationship with Jack Nicholson during the production of Postcards from the Edge led to rumors of on-set drama. However, like many of her other films, the finished product managed to overcome any behind-the-scenes turmoil and garner widespread praise. It seems then that while feuds and conflicts can certainly cause disruptions on set, they do not necessarily spell doom for a film or an actor's career. In fact, in some cases, the added layer of intrigue generated by these controversies might even help draw greater audience interest. Of course, every situation is unique, and it's impossible to say definitively whether feuds ultimately benefit or hinder a project. Nonetheless, one thing remains clear despite facing numerous challenges throughout her illustrious career, Shirley MacLaine continues to captivate audiences with her powerful screen presence and undeniable talent. Shirley MacLaine has left an indelible mark on the film industry, and she shows no signs of slowing down. Despite facing numerous challenges throughout her career, the actress's resilience and undeniable talent continue to shine through in every project she takes on. With a career spanning over six decades, MacLaine remains a prominent figure in Hollywood. Throughout her illustrious career, McLean has tackled some of the most complex roles in cinema, 
from playing a prostitute with a heart of gold in Irma Le Douce to exploring past lives and what a way to go. And the turning point, McLean never shies away from taking risks and pushing boundaries. Even today, she continues to challenge herself by appearing in films like Glee and Downton Abbey. McLean's contributions to the entertainment industry extend beyond acting. She has also written several books, including Out on a Limb, which explores spirituality and personal growth. Through these works, she shares her unique perspective and inspires others to think deeply about their own beliefs and values. One of the things that makes Shirley MacLaine so remarkable is her ability to adapt and evolve with the changing times. While many actors struggle to find work after reaching a certain age, MacLaine has continued to take on challenging and rewarding roles. In recent years, she has appeared in popular TV shows like Downton Abbey and Glee, demonstrating her versatility and willingness to try new things. Another reason for McLean's lasting impact is her commitment to social activism. Throughout her career, she has used her platform to raise awareness about issues close to her heart, including women's rights and environmental conservation. By speaking out and taking action, McLean has inspired countless others to do the same. Overall, Shirley McLean's legacy and ongoing work serve as a testament to her unwavering dedication to her craft and her passion for creating meaningful art. Whether on stage or screen, she captures our attention with her powerful performances and thoughtful insights. And even now, as she enters her twilight years, we can expect nothing less than greatness from this legendary actor.